honestly, I didn't watch it. I couldn't watch it. It made me sick. At some point, I'll probably watch it because it's probably an important evaluation tool for me to, to understand what happened and how they did it. John Horst couldn't stomach tuning into the NBA Finals to see the team that came back to beat his Bucks go on to win it all. But Thursday, Milwaukee's general manager begins the offseason process of taking his team to the next level, starting with the NBA draft, where the Bucks have the 30th pick in the first round. There's options for us to move out of the pick, for sure, um, and we're exploring those. There's options for us to keep the pick, and we feel really excited about the players that will be there. And there's options for us, as I said, kind of diversify it a little bit and move back and get multiples. And so. Um, you never know how this stuff works out. For an ascending team that fell just short of the NBA Finals, the draft is likely not as important as the upcoming free agency period. We are being extremely active in preparing um, and communicating with our owners on what our plans and, and targets and philosophies will be. Um, when it opens up, we'll be extremely active in trying to be, you know, trying to negotiate and execute. ESPN is reporting Chris Middleton is declining his $13 million player option and will become an unrestricted free agent. The first time All-Star is seeking a max contract. He's eligible to sign a five-year, $190 million deal with Milwaukee or a four-year, $141 million pact with another team. We believe in the culture that we're building that's been built. Uh, we believe in the success that we've had. We believe in our superstar and Giannis, the coaching staff, that guys want to be here and guys want to play here. And Chris fits right into that. I think Chris wants to wants to be paid fairly, and I think Chris wants to win at the highest level, and I think he fully believes that he can do that here in Milwaukee. Ryan Rodig, Local 5 Sports.